Hi everyone and welcome to second episode of Product Overview. So today I will introduce new product W5100S EVB Pico. Last time I introduced Wiznet Ethernet Head, which is used to add Ethernet to your Raspberry Pi Pico board. Unlike Wiznet Ethernet Head, W5100S EVB Pico has RP2040 on board. So instead of using two boards, Pico and Ethernet Head, you can use only one board. Its price is only $9.95 and links to stores can be found in description below. First of all, I would like to explain the name of the board. So W5100S indicates the TCP IP chip that is used. EVB stands for evaluation board and PICO refers to Raspberry Pi PICO board as this board is not pin compatible to it. So the only difference is that when you are using Ethernet in your project, you are not able to use GPI from 16 to 21 as they will be used for SPI connection between RP2040 and our chip. This board can be powered by 3V or 5V and more details and other specs can be found on our documentation website. So same as Raspberry Pi Pico board, our board is built on our RP2040 MCU. So it has dual ARM Cortex-M0 and it has 264 on-chip SRAM. It supports up to 16 megabyte of off-chip flash memory as well. Now let's take a closer look at W5100S chip. So a unique feature of our chip is hardware TCP IP stack, which provides various advantages over its software TCP IP stack, like protection from DDoS, reduction of processor load and memory usage. Same as other chips, W5100S has built-in Mac and Phi. It also supports TCP, IDP, ICMP, IGMP and PPoE. This chip provides four independent sockets that can be used simultaneously and 16 KB of internal memory for data communication. W5100S provides wake-on LAN and the power-down mode for reduction of power consumption. Generally, this chip provides internet connectivity by using SPI or parallel bus. The clock speed of SPI is supported up to 70 MHz and by using parallel bus, max speed can reach up to 25 megabit. Among other features, it's also worth to mention the W5100S supports socketless functions that are used for sending ARP and ping requests. In other words, with W5100S, you can ping a remote host without even opening a socket. So as already mentioned, W5100S EVB Pico is pin compatible with Raspberry Pi Pico board. However, it's bigger in size, obviously because it has built-in RJ45 port. Pin headers are included in the package, but not solders. So you can solder it either facing up direction or down direction. Personally, I prefer down direction so that you can have a better access to boot selection button on top. Same as for Wiznet Ethernet Head, we are providing C and CircuitPython SDK for development. Examples and guides can be found on our GitHub repository. To summarize, W5100S EVB Pico is a board built to test Ethernet capabilities for RP2040 projects. If you are working on IoT or industrial device where Ethernet is needed, this board will be the best option for you. If you have any questions, leave it in comment below or contact us at marketing at Thank you.